Hey everybody, Brad Pros with Chilies and Smoke and I'm out here with my gas grill. Today I'm partnering with Western Wood to show you how to smoke some food effectively on one of these. What? Yes. If you haven't tried it before, you can absolutely make delicious barbecue flavored food right on your gas grill using wood chips. If you have tried it before, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think or any questions or concerns you might have about the process. I love to barbecue, and those of you that know me know that I have a bunch of different grills that I can use. But what you might not realize is that I actually started my journey with a bag of these and a big foil pack of these. <laughs> 15 years ago or so, smokers weren't very common. Being on the go, you always wanted to have barbecue when you'd go to a party, go to the park, go to your friend's house. That's why I invested in learning how to use wood chips. This really is the core of how I got started. My first recipe that I started to perfect, pork ribs on a gas grill, super smoky and tender. They were awesome. I'm gonna show you how I use my setup so that you can do that wherever you go with any gas grill. It's important to know that smoke starts producing at about 570 to 575 degrees. That means that you need the grill to get really hot to start smoldering those coals. Don't be afraid. Turn the burner on one of the sides of your grill up to high and put that foil pack on there. It's gonna take you about 10 to 15 minutes to see some smoke rolling and every grill is a little different. My grill behind me runs really hot, so I actually go on about medium to medium high. A really important tip, do not soak your wood chips. They need to be dry. Let's talk about that. If you do soak them ahead of time, you're gonna have a lot more steam than you are smoke, especially in the beginning. Eventually they do smoke, but it's gonna take a long time for you to get the results that you're looking for. So a lot of gas grills out there already come with some smoker boxes or smoker tubes. Let me show you the one that I've got here. Now, some of these are designed specifically for the grill. They work great, they produce a lot of smoke, and they're very simple to use. You may need to refill them over time if you're smoking for longer periods of time. Most of them have lids, which make it really easy to add more wood chips over time. As I showed you before, the OG of smoking on a gas grill, the foil pack. Let me show you how to make one real quick. First, lay out a sheet of foil. Use heavy duty foil as the wood chips can easily pierce through. Pour out about a cup or cup and a half of any kind of wood chips. Feel free to mix and match if you'd like to do that too. Spread them out a little bit and then what you'll do is just fold up the sides. Be careful not to push down too hard otherwise this is where the wood chips will poke right through. Fold up the sides first and I like to do the end last. That way I can have an open pocket in case I want to add more wood chips over time. I still make these and anytime I'm gonna be cooking something for a short period of time like burgers or fish or vegetables, I'll throw these on ahead of time just to get them smoking. Adds a lot of great flavor to whatever you're gonna be cooking. Just remember that the less holes that you poke through here, the more smoke that you're gonna get and the slower burn you're gonna have. Now, if you're going for longer cooks, such as reverse searing, like a tri-tip or tomahawk steak, you might wanna consider using a foil pan if you don't have those smoker tubes. The benefit is that they create a lot of smoke and you've got some great flexibility. You can actually leave the top off while it's on the smoker. It's gonna create a ton of smoke up front, but the wood will burn fast. If you want the wood to burn slow over time, go ahead and treat it just like you would a smoker box or smoker tube. Put the wood chips right in here, cover it up with foil, push it down so there's not a lot of oxygen, and poke just a few holes. The downside with foil pans is that they really don't have a lot of reuse. You can get a few smokes out of them before they start to burn some little holes in the bottom. Let's talk about when you would really want to use these methods. And trust me, you're not gonna see me cooking a brisket on a gas grill. It's just not very effective. Think grilling pork, steak, burgers, chicken, vegetables, maybe even a rotisserie if your gas grill has that. Longer cooks such as reverse searing like a tomahawk steak or a roast, that works really well. You just wanna make sure that you would use those foil pans 
or the smoker tubes. I just mentioned it briefly, my favorite time to use this process is for reverse searing. Especially when you're going over to somebody else's house, you kind of want to give it that just kiss of smoke and really show off your skills. Once the smoke has started, make sure that your grill is preheated to about 225 to 250 degrees. Place the meat on a clean rack away from the direct burner and let it smoke. I like to rotate the meat during the cook just to make sure that the heat is dispersed evenly. When the steak registers about 15 degrees from your target temperature, turn up one of the burners to high for some direct searing. Sear and flip until it has a nice crispy bark on the outside and let it rest a few minutes. I highly recommend using a temperature probe that can sit inside the grill next to your meat to make sure that you're getting the exact temperature. There's so many different ways to use wood chips on a gas grill. I hope this is helpful for you. Comment below with any questions that you might have and cheers.